that. I'm looking up from my window. Sun's coming up like the day before. You're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. Most people that are not changing their lives for the better or have addiction to food, to stress, to smoking, to anything, are not willing to change because they're try they're they're striving for perfection. They d they don't have any really good reason why they shouldn't start to better their life, to start working out, to stop smoking, to eat better, because they know they need to do it. And that's the reason why they're not doing it. It's because they know they need to do it. And they know that any day now, they could take the decision to start doing it. But that's the main reason why they're not doing it. It's because they know they can take that decision. But the reason why it's so hard for them to say, yes, let's do it, is because they say, well, when I'm going into it, I want to be perfect. I want to eat perfect every single day. I want to work out every single day. That's not the mindset you need to go into it. When you start a business, you know you're going to fail. You're going to have to learn through that to evolve and learn, right? Same thing whenever you want to start something new in your life and you want to get better. Know that you're going to fail. But that's okay. That's milestones that you can learn from and adapt and grow towards that. So if you eat clean six days in a week and you eat pizza a day, one day, is that a failure? I think it's a lot better than what you're doing right now. So just start. The real reason why you're not starting because you're trying to strive for perfection. You're not going to be perfect. Nobody's perfect. And that's for any addiction, right? You're addicted to cigarette. You're addicted to smoking. If you tell your mind that people that are going to rehab and come out, they try to be perfect afterwards. That's why there's so many relapses. Take it one day at a time. If, if today you're not perfect, that's fine. Tomorrow you can strive to be better. But you need to start. And I mean, someone that says that he's overweight and he's weighing 250 pounds. Well, the biggest question is why aren't you weighing more? So there's a point in your life or in your day that you decide to stop eating. You're not just going to keep eating every single day because for you, 250 pounds, that's your weight. That's what you weigh. So that's why you're not 450. Why do I weigh 195? It's because for me, that's what I want to weigh. 210 for me is too heavy, but I might be perfect for you. You have to find a solution for you that works for you, right? But there's a reason why you're not weighing more or not weighing less. Your addiction stops at a certain point. And that's when you need to stop. If you're smoking, why aren't you smoking seven packs in a day? Well, uh, that's disgusting. I don't want to do that. Well, for me, smoking one pack, smoking two cigarettes, that's disgusting for me. So those are my limits. Find yours. Get after it, guys. You got this. To the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more. No, just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Thanks for the lunch, mommy. You're very welcome. Bye. Bye, daddy. We love you. I love you. See you soon. How was your workout, mommy? It was actually really fun. I did it with F. Good job. We did two separate workouts, but it was fun. And then we did the sauna and the ice bath. Good job. Huh? You're so cute with your beanie on. Love you.
Max, I'm a cat, but it bottles. Come on, the man, so the payroll.